what's up y'all so as you can see y'all finna make a room with me <clears throat> to go with the two stranded um you know i was doing one stranded up for the whole world and all that stuff but i actually do like it better and i told y'all the last time that i tried that it was like my first what two or three rugs so i really hadn't tried the two strands here um so i mean i've been doing that with this rug and then i'm gonna just do it with these um on the smaller details though one strand I'm not doing two but gives the same thickness all day we go cheap and my my yarn and stuff keep coming out but i said i just gotta get used to it because i've been doing the one stranded for what since i started basically so it's gonna take me a little time to get used to doing uh two stranded and then not falling out and so let's just see where we where we gonna start Let's see what this looking like on the back. Look at this line. It's a horrible. So I also wanted to mention something like this. Okay. This is also one thing that I kind of hate. Sometimes one of the strands falls out. I mean, it doesn't really affect it that much, but it kind of just irritates me a little bit. You know, but like I said, I still got to get used to this stuff, you know. Um, and I'm still working on spacing on the double stranded. Because like I said, since I've been doing one, I don't really know what thickness I'm looking for. Or I'm kind of wanting to keep the same thickness or consistency that I do with the um, one strand. Um, so I'm still trying to space it out a little bit um, just to see. And if I have to go back in to fill in some spaces, then that's what I'll do. Um, which is why on the back it'll kind of look really. So I want to show you guys my method on these two stranded now because it's way different than when I do the one stranded. I basically just have my two up here with all my yarn or whatever, and I have it feeding literally into my gun. And yet, like, you won't always have the ones that are like this, you know, because these are the ones where you can pull out from the um, inside in the middle and it's easy. But then you get some like those pink ones up there that's like all miscombobulated. And then I'll use it the other method. So, yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm about to trim it up um, so I can go ahead and go on to the next color. But as you can see, the consistency, I didn't put them too close together and it's full. You can feel it. Full. It's full. You can see it's full. Yeah. I'm loving it. I want to go in and look at my other video so you can see in detail how I cut my, trim my letters and by all means, please go do that.
doing this with one hand to show you guys the two stranded. This is the difference between the double and the single because I mean you have to put it closer together so single versus the double that decided. I mean, it's both going to do the same thing. The thickness of it is going to be a lot different. Okay, let's see, watch this. See all this? This is double. These are double that single down there, so. Well, everything's in the way. All right, so. So this is like the single, and mind you, I did them close together. That's the single, and this is the double. Yeah, there is a lot. It's not a big difference, like, at all, especially because I just know to put these a little more close together, but. I mean, I guess the double just gets it done faster, you know. But honestly, in my opinion, it does not matter whatsoever. It doesn't matter. You get the same outcome. The single strand just takes longer. See? So, so I think that, I mean, it's not really a big difference between the two. I mean, yes, if you do single stranded and you put them further apart it's going to be thinner and the rug's not going to be as full but i mean that's why you compensate for things like that um it is quicker to do the double strand um like i said before i used to only do the single strand it is quicker um i guess i like it now i guess so thank you guys for watching this um make sure you subscribe like comment um any suggestions or anything respectfully okay um and then just stay tuned because i will be finishing these up and like i said i'll be showing you guys how to hang these up this time instead of just using them as rugs you know because you can tough things and it can be used for a lot of different stuff and people don't know that so stay tuned